like Frank Warren and Ig Just test. Danny Gathorn for Pro Boxing fans in Coventry. It's very cold here, Peter, so I'll try and make this quick. Uh, good to see you again on Punditry Gins tonight. Not where we normally see you. How did you find it before we get into the car? Just being in front of the camera, doing interviews, giving your thoughts. How did you uh, take it all in? I enjoyed it to be fair, um, I just give my opinion on the, on the fights that I see, so yeah it's been good, I've enjoyed it and uh, it's nice of GBM to invite me on and uh, get me speaking. Have you done much punditry before? No, I can't even remember the last time I've done anything to be honest with you. I do interviews, that's about it and uh, the fighters, so no, I think it's the first time actually. I'm sure speaking to us lot gets you prepared slightly, but how did you find the, the big stage and the zone? A lot of, I know footballers say when they do their first bit of punditry, they're very nervous, all the lights and camera, was there any of that or I suppose you're talking about boxing, it's your bread and butter? Uh, it's very easy for me to talk about boxing, so uh, no, I wasn't, uh, I, I, I wasn't nervous or anything. I just say what I say, and I say I will, I will see things. So if you, if you just speak your mind, it's not difficult. What did you make of the show? Obviously, main event, Danny Quarterman got a win. Bit of an upset. Uh, Niall Berry defeated. Some good fights in the undercard. What did you make of it all? I thought it was a very good show. Uh, you've got good up-and-coming fighters in 50-50 fights. We don't always know who the winner's going to be. A few upsets tonight, i.e. Niall Berry, one of them, fought a very, very good Italian. You know, I was impressed with him. And um, I thought there were some brilliant fights on. And these are the, these are the shows that we want to see. This is real boxing. And this is what uh, Izzy Izzy's bringing to the table, so it's very good news for boxing. You were supposed to be here with your trainer's hat on, obviously very frustrating I'm sure. I've heard that it was uh, on the opponent's end for one reason or another, clearance couldn't get given for Hugh's opponent, is that is that accurate? More or less, yeah, you know, it is what it is, you know, and these type of things happen, so we're not bothered, we're going to move on. And he's going to be busy this year anyway. And the longer you he's in the gym, the better it is for him, so... We're happy where we are, so end of August he'll be fighting again, definitely. And uh, we'll probably get another fight towards the end of the year. I know he's had uh, a show at GBM, he's boxing a Sky card. Any idea what broadcaster or promoter that next fight will land on? Probably next time will be Boxer on the 31st of August. Fantastic. Peter, while I've got you, I'm sure you've talked about it plenty. September 21st, uh, stack card. People are calling it one of the best cards they've seen in this country for decades. Headlined, of course, Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois. I know you love your boxing. I know you especially love your heavyweight boxing. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? People are very excited for it. I just think uh, AJ's just got too much experience. He's got that speed. So um, I'd have to edge him on it. But saying that, it's not a foregone conclusion. I think Dubois is a big puncher as well. So it's the one who wants first, you know, this is heavyweight boxing and, uh, you know, shocks do happen and let's see. Were you surprised by uh, Daniel's performance against Filip Hergovic? I think a lot of people writing him off in that fight and obviously people have had these question marks over his heart and desire, but he showed plenty of them that night. Were you surprised at all? Uh, not really. I thought he'd done well against uh, Miller and I thought he'd done very well against Hergovic. So... And let's hope he can grow again from them two fights and come into AJ's fight full of confidence, which I'm sure he will. So let's see. We've never seen a, a fully real confident Dubois in the past. So let's see what he does. So Don Charles is doing great things for him. So, you know, let's see. Peter, most of your interviews are around what's happening in the British scene, but I'd just like to know, like, who are some of your favourite fighters to watch internationally? That could be in the States or abroad. Who do you enjoy watching that's not on these shores? I like all the fights, to be honest with you, from heavyweights to lightweights. I see them all, you know, and I'm a big fan of them. So I can't mention names because off the top of my head, but there's loads of good fighters. Lomachenko comes to my mind straight away. And uh, the Tank Davis, all these type of fighters. It's interesting you mentioned because they've been linked with a fight later in the year. Uh, oh, a great clash of styles, great clash of personalities and stories too. What would you make of that fight if that was to materialise? It'd be a great fight to see and I'd like to see it. Uh, that Tank Davis is special. He's a special fighter, he is. He's in this sort of crop of American lightweights. You've got him, you've got Shakur Stevenson, Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney. I know he's gone up to 140, but who's the pick of the bunch of those American sort of, the build is like the next four kings type thing. Who would you say is number one? You've got to say the, the Tank, Tank Davis is uh, probably edging them all at the moment. But styles make fights. They're, they're all 50-50s, aren't they? So, but uh, on form, you'd have to pick him, I think. Last one, better because we're getting into the early hours here. Social media has gone into overdrive, as it often does, over Carl Frotz leaking these WhatsApp messages from Anthony Joshua. 
some people are saying, you know, since Carlos took up this YouTube channel, he's turned into like a pantomime villain. I know Eddie Hearn wasn't best pleased about it. What did you make of that all? Is that bad taste, do you think? It's not for me to say, you know, what everybody does. It's everybody's personal view. Carl's got his view and uh, AJ's got his opinion. So arguments, they'll argue and do whatever they're going to do. This is boxing, you know, so if that's the least that's going to happen if we've seen in boxing, then it's no problem, is it? I just hope I've got my camera there if they ever meet in person. Peter, always good to see you. I'll let you get on. Thank you very much. Thank nice. You very much. Good to see you.